Hi guys, this is Mo Volans for AudioTouch.com and I'm bringing you a couple of quick tips this time around. In fact, I'm going to try and bring you a series of these quick tips that relate to mixing and mastering. And I'm going to be working on projects that are on the computer and that I'm working with and hopefully these will be relevant to you regardless of the, the style or genre you're working with and regardless of the DAW you're working with. So two things I'm going to look at in this mix, the kick drum and the bass, really common things that you know, no matter what kind of music you're making, these, these are going to be things that crop up. So I'm going to show you how I uh, started to work at least with, uh, with these elements and started to beef them up a little bit. So with the kick drum, what I've done is, and I'm just going to show you exactly what I've done, I've sent the original kick drum, which was an audio track, and these, all these sounds were exported from the Archuria Spark, and I've duplicated it twice here. There's the first duplication, and there's the second. And really these are just send and returns. So I've just sent to two channels and these are the returns right next to the original kick. And the first one, the high end is completely filtered off and plenty of low end shelf energy has been added. Okay, everything below 100 hertz. So if I solo it, you can hear it's like a deep thud. And this is really an alternative to adding extra samples. So that is then layered with the original kick. And then the third, is like a click. And that's just a high pass filter. So the opposite of the other the other track and a load of high end added. Maybe a little bit too much, but high shelf. So basically the reverse. And you could maybe add some saturation or compression to this. And these three things mixed together now make like a composite kick. And this is, like I say, an alternative to adding samples, an alternative to adding loads of EQ to the original channel, because you can mix these how you want. See, so they're labeled kick, low kick, high kick, and you can mix those three elements. So it's essentially like having a multi-band compressor or multi-band processor right there in the mix, right there in your console for you to mix in. And you can do this in any DOW, you can do this in anything that you can create parallel channels or send and returns. So it's a really fast way of dialing in multi-band information uh, without getting into multi-band processing, adding more samples, or too much EQ to the original sound. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. In the next quick tip, I'm going to tackle the bass, and we're going to look at some simple side-chaining techniques and some EQ and layering techniques uh, that will help clean things up.